Earlier this year, Japan etched its name in space exploration history, but not for the reason you might expect. Yes, it successfully landed a spacecraft on the moon for the first time, joining the elite ranks of the USA, Russia, India, and China. However, Japan's mission went far beyond just landing. It was about redefining precision in space exploration. Dubbed the Moon Sniper, the smart lander for investigating moon, SLIM, achieved an extraordinarily precise landing. To put it in perspective, this feat was akin to shooting a skin cell from London to Cairo and having it land on a specific grain of rice. This jaw-dropping level of accuracy had scientists and engineers buzzing in anticipation leading up to the mission. Once SLIM touched down, the headlines shifted to its unexpected resilience. Designed primarily to demonstrate pinpoint landing capabilities, the small spacecraft wasn't meant to endure the extreme conditions of a lunar night. Yet, against all odds, SLIM survived not one, but three lunar nights, baffling scientists as it continued to wake up, sending data and images back to Earth. Oh, and as if to underscore its audacity, it's operating upside down. Today, we're diving into the story of JAXA's historic Moon Sniper mission, its groundbreaking precision landing, the mystery behind its resilience, and the implications for the future of lunar exploration. The Smart Lander for Investigating Moon, or SLIM, is a small, lightweight spacecraft, roughly the size of a passenger vehicle. Its mission focused on studying the composition of olivine-rich rocks near Scioli Crater, located about 200 miles south of the Sea of Tranquility, the site of Neil Armstrong's iconic Small Step. This landing site is of particular interest because it lies on ground ejected by the nearby crater, allowing researchers to study lunar rock without the need for drilling. By analyzing these rocks, JAXA hopes to uncover clues about the moon's origins, interior, and formation. SLIM wasn't just a milestone for Japan, it was a breakthrough for the field of lunar exploration. Alongside its main spacecraft, SLIM carried two innovative mini-lunar excursion vehicles, LEV-1 and LEV-2. These compact explorers were designed to deploy from the main lander to conduct their own independent investigations, gathering high-resolution images and crucial data about the moon's surface. This approach exemplifies the trend of modular, distributed exploration systems that prioritize efficiency and adaptability. Beyond its scientific endeavors, SLIM's mission was a demonstration of engineering ingenuity and advanced mission planning. Traditional lunar missions often target flat, open planes to maximize the chances of a safe landing. However, SLIM challenged this paradigm by aiming for one of the most rugged and scientifically intriguing terrains near the Scioli Crater. The lander's primary goal was to achieve an unprecedented level of precision in landing, proving that spacecraft could now navigate and settle in areas once deemed too treacherous or inaccessible. This capability could revolutionize lunar exploration by granting access to scientifically rich sites that have long been out of reach. For instance, rocky regions or steep slopes, often rich in diverse mineral compositions and geological history, are now within humanity's grasp thanks to SLIM's cutting-edge technology. To accomplish this, SLIM utilized a combination of advanced autonomous navigation systems, sophisticated sensors, and real-time trajectory adjustments. This suite of tools allowed the spacecraft to correct its course during descent, ensuring a pinpoint landing within just a few tens of meters of its target. Such precision is critical for future missions, especially those that aim to investigate specific geological features or collect samples from carefully chosen locations. By adopting a lightweight and agile design, SLIM also highlighted the benefits of using smaller spacecraft for lunar exploration. Compared to larger, heavier landers, compact systems like SLIM can be deployed more frequently and at a fraction of the cost. This opens the door for more ambitious and diverse missions to the moon and beyond. In essence, SLIM's mission showcased the potential of merging precision engineering with innovative mission strategies. Its success not only advances our understanding of the moon's history and composition, but also lays the groundwork for future exploration of other celestial bodies, including asteroids and Mars. The lessons learned from SLIM will undoubtedly influence the design of future spacecraft, enabling humanity to explore the most challenging and scientifically valuable corners of our solar system. To appreciate the significance of this achievement, we need some historical context. Lunar landings have always been a high-stakes challenge, 
with only about 43% of attempts ending in success. Technological limitations and the moon's unique environment have long constrained landing accuracy, creating formidable obstacles for space agencies. For instance, the Soviet Union needed 12 attempts before successfully landing Luna 9 on the moon. Similarly, NASA's Ranger program failed six times before finally achieving its goal. Unlike Earth, the moon lacks an atmosphere, meaning spacecraft cannot rely on aerodynamic controls like parachutes for descent. Instead, they must depend entirely on engine thrust, which complicates trajectory adjustments during landing. Achieving a touchdown at near zero speed is critical to prevent damage to delicate onboard instruments. Even the renowned Apollo missions had close calls. Each mission landed perilously close to hazardous rocks, craters, or slopes, with minimal ability for real-time course corrections. To mitigate risks, NASA deliberately targeted the moon's near side, close to the equator, and in optimal lighting conditions. While these precautions ensured safer landings, they restricted exploration to relatively small, repetitive areas of the lunar surface. This is where precision landing changes the game. A spacecraft capable of pinpoint landings can explore virtually any location on the moon, enabling scientists to conduct targeted studies of specific rock and soil types without requiring rovers to travel long distances. This not only reduces mission complexity and cost, but also unlocks new possibilities for exploring previously inaccessible or scientifically rich regions. The cost efficiency of missions like Moon Sniper highlights this shift. JAXA's mission, which cost $120 million, demonstrates how precision can lead to smaller, more affordable spacecraft. By comparison, the lunar rovers for Apollo 15, 16, and 17 cost $38 million to develop in 1972, equivalent to approximately $286 million today. More recent rovers, such as India's Chandrayaan-2 and China's Chang'e-4, cost $141 million and $180 million, respectively. One key metric for landing accuracy is the landing ellipse, or the area of uncertainty for a spacecraft's touchdown zone. For perspective, Apollo 11 in 1969 had a target landing ellipse measuring 18.5 kilometers by 4.5 kilometers, a vast area of uncertainty. Fast forward to 2013, China's Chang'e 3 achieved a far smaller ellipse of 6 kilometers by 6 kilometers. In January 2024, Japan set a new benchmark. JAXA's Moon Sniper touched down a mere 55 meters from the center of its designated 100 meters by 100 meters landing ellipse, a precision improvement of over 8,300 times compared to Apollo 11. This level of accuracy not only showcases the advances in technology, but also heralds a new era in lunar exploration. Now, let's delve into the cutting-edge technology that made this remarkable achievement possible. Moon Sniper's remarkable precision was made possible by its advanced vision-based navigation system, aptly nicknamed Smart Eyes by JAXA. As the spacecraft descended toward the lunar surface, it continuously captured high-resolution images, allowing it to pinpoint its location in real time. These images were compared against detailed orbital maps constructed using data from NASA's Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter LRO, India's Chandrayaan-2, and Japan's Selene missions. This comparative analysis enabled Moon Sniper to identify its position and calculate the precise landing site within a broad predetermined map. By processing these images in real time, Moon Sniper could dynamically adjust its trajectory mid-flight, achieving an unprecedented level of accuracy. Weighing just 200 kilograms without fuel, this achievement demonstrated the potential for small, lightweight spacecraft to carry out complex lunar exploration missions that were previously the domain of larger, costlier landers. However, the mission wasn't entirely flawless. While Moon Sniper successfully reached its target landing zone, the final moments of its descent took an unexpected turn. Just as it touched down, the spacecraft tipped over and landed on its nose. This surprising malfunction marred an otherwise groundbreaking approach. But what exactly went wrong? On September 6, 2023, JAXA launched the Smart Lander for investigating Moon, SLIM, on its journey to the Moon. After traveling through space for several months, the spacecraft entered lunar orbit on Christmas Day, 2023, 
and prepared for its historic landing on January 18, 2024. The landing approach, streamed live to a captivated Japanese audience, was described by one mission team member as a breathless, numbing 20 minutes of terror. As Slim made its final descent, disaster struck. One of its two main engine nozzles unexpectedly detached just 50 meters above the lunar surface. This caused an imbalance in thrust, leading the spacecraft to drift laterally. Despite its smaller thrusters' attempts to stabilize the motion, Slim couldn't fully recover. Incredibly, the lander's onboard systems identified the anomaly in real time and autonomously located a safe spot to touch down, narrowly avoiding a crash. However, during the final moments, Slim toppled onto its nose. Images captured by one of the two autonomous probes it deployed before landing showed the box-shaped spacecraft lying upside down on the lunar surface, its solar panels oriented away from the sun, a critical setback. Deprived of direct sunlight to recharge its batteries, Slim's power reserves dwindled rapidly. Using its remaining 12% battery life, it transmitted a mosaic image of its landing site back to Earth. Recognizing the dire situation, the JAXA team made the difficult decision to power down the spacecraft, hoping the sun's position would shift enough to provide a second chance. Remarkably, just 10 days later, on January 29, 2024, Slim powered on as sunlight grazed its panels. For two brief days, it resumed operations, transmitting additional data and images. However, the approaching lunar night, a 14-day period of total darkness and frigid temperatures, loomed as a significant challenge. Lunar nights are notoriously harsh, with temperatures plummeting to minus 180 degrees Celsius, conditions that most lunar spacecraft are not designed to endure. JAXA knew that the prolonged absence of sunlight would likely mark the end of SLIM's groundbreaking mission. Despite these challenges, the mission had already demonstrated extraordinary resilience and ingenuity. For instance, the first US lunar lander in 50 years, Odysseus, encountered a similar fate to SLIM. After malfunctioning during its descent in early 2024, Odysseus landed on its nose. Despite entering hibernation mode for three weeks in hopes of surviving a lunar night, it never reawakened. The moon's lack of atmosphere presents unique challenges, particularly when it comes to temperature regulation. During a lunar day, when the sun is directly overhead, surface temperatures soar to a scorching 121 degrees Celsius. Conversely, Lunar nights plunge the moon into complete darkness, with temperatures dropping to an icy minus 180 degrees Celsius. This extreme thermal swing is unforgiving, especially for landers not designed to endure it. Adding to the difficulty, the moon's day-night cycle is unlike Earth's. Each lunar day and night lasts approximately 14 Earth days. This means a spacecraft must endure two weeks of relentless heat, followed by two weeks of freezing darkness a daunting test for any mission. Slim, not engineered to withstand the brutal conditions of a lunar night, faced its greatest challenge as the sun set on January 31, 2024. The JAXA team placed the lander in hibernation, bracing for the likelihood that it wouldn't survive. Still, they planned to attempt contact when daylight returned, just in case. On February 26, to their amazement, Slim responded. Against all odds, the resilient moon sniper had survived its first lunar night. Not only did it reawaken, but it also began transmitting images and data back to Earth. The surprises didn't end there. After two productive weeks of gathering data during its second lunar day, Slim was once again powered down as the second lunar night loomed. Expectations were low, but incredibly, it survived yet another 14-day freeze. On March 21st, JAXA confirmed contact with Slim which had resumed sending valuable data. The pattern repeated in late April, as SLIM emerged from its third lunar night and sent even more images and data from the lunar surface. Surviving one lunar night is a rare feat, but SLIM's resilience has surpassed all expectations, marking it as one of the most remarkable lunar missions in recent history. SLIM has exceeded all expectations, enduring extreme temperature fluctuations that would typically destroy most electronics not purpose-built for such conditions. Remarkably, it continued transmitting valuable data and images after surviving an unprecedented three lunar nights. Among these contributions were detailed images of the surrounding lunar terrain, which are pivotal for advancing our understanding of the Moon's geology. 
One particularly notable photograph captured by SLIM featured a moon rock nicknamed Toy Poodle. Using its specialized multi-band camera, Slim provided a close-up view of the rock. Although the image was slightly blurred, geologists can analyze it to identify the different minerals within, offering valuable insights into the moon's composition and formation history. Following its fourth lunar night, JAXA once again attempted to re-establish communication with the resilient moon sniper. Unfortunately, as of May 27th, no signal has been received. After its incredible and prolonged efforts, it seems likely that SLIM has finally gone silent. Despite this, its achievements will be remembered as a groundbreaking testament to engineering ingenuity and scientific ambition. JAXA's first lunar touchdown marks a significant milestone in interplanetary exploration. By proving the feasibility of pinpoint landings, it paves the way for numerous groundbreaking possibilities. One area of keen interest for scientists is the South Pole Aitken Basin, where the moon's mantle is thought to be exposed, potentially revealing secrets about its formation and evolution. Pinpoint landing capabilities, like those demonstrated by Moon Sniper, will also be critical for accessing challenging regions on the moon. For instance, NASA's Artemis missions, set to launch in 2026, aim to explore water ice deposits in permanently shadowed craters at the lunar poles. These resources could be vital for future human exploration and even serve as a stepping stone for missions to Mars and beyond. Moon Sniper stands as a testament to the incredible progress and innovation achieved since the first lunar era of the 1960s and 70s. As interest in lunar exploration from both public agencies and private companies continues to grow, missions like this offer a glimpse into the exciting potential of the second lunar era. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments. We'd love to hear what excites you most about humanity's return to the moon. For more fascinating content on space missions and discoveries, check out my other videos or explore the playlist linked here. A special shout out to our amazing channel members. Your support fuels this channel and helps bring these stories to life. Thanks for watching, and as always, stay curious. Until next time, take care, and I'll see you in the next video.